Hey everyone, my name is Ethan and welcome back guys to another episode of Knights and Dragons. I want to get an update to you guys on the account before this raid starts. So we're going to talk about the source of a raid in a minute and then I'm going to throw another video at you guys at the end of the raid so that you can just see the progress during the raid basically. So uh, let's start off with our team for the raid. Let's do it. I've also just realized that I still have this fountain here. Let's get rid of this. And let's put down the monster's nest because I believe that's the best one to have there. So let's uh, let's build that progress made. <laughs> I've got no gems, like always. I haven't been doing my daily videos the last couple of days. And uh, we've also got the heroic mode going on, which I want to show you guys about. So quickly here, here's our raid at the top. We've got the uh, the new set available in the chest along with this bad boy right here. And no update, none at all. Ah, oh, here it is, the heroic mode. I found it. I knew I could find it. So uh, the Raptors Embrace, hopefully we can get the Raptors Embrace. We won't be able to get the Plus version, uh, but hopefully we can get the Raptors Embrace. So if we click on it, we've still got uh, pretty much 21 days to go. And uh, we need eight of the things. We've already done over half of the first area here, the Relic Ruins, which uh, we're going to go over and do that today as well. So first, let me show you my team that I think for this raid. Alrighty guys, so this, this is what my team is looking like. This is what I think we're going to go with. So uh... I don't have a third type advantage against this Mono Earth, so I've just gone with Santiago because he's my highest armor that has absolutely no advantage or disadvantage. So I've got Santiago there at first, then I've got my Dragon Forge on Ethan R Pro second, which is a nice over 3k, 3k stat, and then I've got Phantom at the end here with just, uh, he's got some good bling, but he's only level 50, so, eh, you know. But I'll be spending all of the fusion boosts on my Dragon Forge again because once we hit the Dragon Forge level 99, I'd like to aim for one of the new Dragon Forges from the chest. So that is the team, the current team for the raid. Now let's go look at the rewards for the raid. Uh, we won't save that just because it's in the arena. Now let's go to the Sorcerer's Raid here. So the thing about this one is that, uh, firstly, the armor looks like uh, Raphael from Ninja Turtles. You see the little the beard he's got going on? It sort of makes him look like. The, and then the actual monster itself on the left hand side it does sort of look like the little rat monster from the Ninja Turtles which is cool but uh, if we go into our personal milestones last time we managed to get about a million a million points and I wasn't hitting as well as I'll be hitting this time I think this time I've got the right elements in the right places so uh, hopefully we get a good amount of fusion boosts but they've also added jewelry to this which I'm assuming is earth jewelry because it's a mono but uh, as you can see, just going all the way up here to 1.1 million, you're already getting yourself a 3 star ring. So if we can actually aim for 2.5 million and get 2 4 star amulets there, and maybe even higher, I doubt we'll get any higher than that. But uh, if we can get to like 2.5 million, that would be amazing. And of course, the fusion boosts in total will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21, and yeah, that's pretty close. We're nearly, nearly all of them done. I would love to get up to these three star fusion boosts, but I just, I don't think we're there yet. I'm pretty sure I'm only going to be getting about 50k per hit this raid, but it's looking promising. Things are looking good. Alrighty, so let's do the heroic stage. This is stage one. Uh, we should be able to kill it twice, but I'll just do it once with you guys, and then obviously I'll... I'll do it on my own later on. But uh, it's pretty it's been pretty easy actually, the first stage here. I don't know how we're gonna go on the next stage. I know there's a lot of air, a lot of water and air in the next stage. So I actually think that our earth armors might do really well. Uh, what's gonna suck is when we get up against the fire stage because obviously my dragon forge will then become useless. One of the big problems that we're having at the moment is my dragon forge is sucking away all of my fusion boost armors that I could be using to quickly level up some of my epics, which would make me stronger across the board. But this one Dragon Forge changes so much in terms of like the arena or this raid because obviously we've got the right elements against this raid. I accidentally used my special attack when I shouldn't have. That's all good. We might even uh, level up again. We're getting so much closer to 100. That's one of my big priorities is 100 because then it's all about armor and jewelry rather than the small stat decrease that you get because you're not level 100 yet. It's lame. So uh, hit this guy halfway and then we'll crit. Oh, we'll special attack. I don't know what that is. But, uh, yeah, I am very excited to get this Dragon Forge finished, and then maybe do a raid or two. We'll finish this boss in a sec. Uh, do a raid or two without a Dragon Forge and just really power level some of our epics, just so we've got a little bit more diversity that is strong. And, uh, and then we'll start saving our gems and aiming to get maybe one of those new set Dragon Forge after a couple of them have come out. You know, obviously there's two more coming out this month, 
and then uh, after that, I'm assuming they're going to be set Dragon Forge from now on. So the older and older, the longer and longer it takes me to do the chest, is the more chance I've got of getting a set Dragon Forge rather than a normal one. And obviously, it's going to be stronger that way, which is really good. The more I shake my phone around, the more I seem to cause everything to lag. That's weird. Maybe I should move less when I talk. But uh, yeah. I can, I can 100% confirm, I'm pretty sure based on the last two chests in the last two weeks, that from now on, set Dragon Forge will be found in the Dragon Forge chest. I would hope. Hopefully the Halloween chest will be really good. I am still working on the Epic Boss collection. I will show you guys how far we've gotten on that just after we kill this big lumbering pile of boulders. Come on, please don't die. Please just only let one of my knights take damage. Dang it. And I'm not going to be able to hit him again. Yeah, I gotta do it one more. Dang it. So we lost a little bit of HP on a night that I didn't want to lose HP on, but it's fine. It's fine. We got our, our sixth shard for this area, I believe. And we got an Earth Fusion boost when we finished up. Yep. So that's six done. That's really good stuff. All right. So I'm sure you're all wondering what happened. Did Ethan manage to get the first epic boss done? I did. Here's my Mask of Salem right now. Uh, and then I got the Mask of Salem Plus. How fantastic is that? I also, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but I got a Minos War Gear. I don't know if I showed you guys that, but uh, we have to talk about my armors and stuff in a minute anyway. But uh, yes, we did get the Mask of Salem Plus. Good stuff. Good thumb, thumbs up. That's him. Good thumbs up. So now we got to try and get the Plus version on the next three. And they do actually get gradually harder, so I'm not sure if we can. I did have to spend some gems on this one, which is what I'll be saving my gems for. But uh, now that we're here, let's um, let's quickly go into our slide. Let's the magical slide going up on the screen. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, we got the Minos War Gear, which is really good stuff. And then, we did even better than that. Because it turns out that a new Fusible Epic is stronger than the one that we were trying to get. So, we were aiming for... Uh, what is it called? The Spirit Air Armor, which is called... The something or other. But now, the Robes of Jackal, which are the stronger version of those. The Robes of the Jackal are the strongest Spirit Air, which we got. So, we can take that one off. Fantastic. Uh, it's currently level 28 on my account, as you can see here. It uh, It's slowly getting there, but it's already stronger than a lot of my armors just at level 28. So, And then the Minos needs to be leveled up as well. It just hasn't happened. I've got to save my armors for the epic boss. But uh, that will do for now. Let's open this one chest that we got too. Because if those of you, those of you who saw my last video, the uh, is the Dark Prince chest overpowered. I'm also going to do one on the enchanted chest because you can get some really good things. I didn't. I didn't get anything good. But you can get really good things. Speaking of the really good things, let me show you guys here. If we enhance our rings, we have two really strong rings here. This sturdy geode of rage that's level 3, this is the highest level ring you can currently get. That's, yeah, that's the highest tier 4 you can get. And then we got this other one, the uh, Defiant Ripple of Bravery. Look at that 452 defense. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Let me do that so you guys can see it properly over my face cam. Yeah, see? So 324 plus 324 attack. It's level 3. Can't wait to level that bad boy up. Yeah. <laughs> that is some exciting stuff. Alrighty, guys. So I believe that last, but most definitely not least, let's uh, let's kill Gillian, the current epic boss. So who are we going to use today? Who of our friends is my favorite? Let's get air. What do we got? We got some nice 3k guys here. Some lots of good 3k 3k guys here, which is cool. Let's go with Hateful Cynic because that's the um, harmonic battle gear. That's my favorite armor in the game that I don't have on either of my accounts and is no longer available. Cry face. It's a sad day when you can't get yourself a harmonic battle gear. I tried really hard too. I think I spent like 3k gems trying to get a harmonic battle gear and only got other ones. It's not that strong, but the plus version is strong enough. I'd love to have the plus version. It's awesome. But, uh, regrettably, I never got it. Lame. It was the uh, first Dragon Forge that I liked, back when it was a war or a raid armor, I can't remember. But it was the first one that I really liked, and I would love to have one. But I can't have one. They might bring it back. Retro chest incoming. You wait. <laughs> that would be cool. Again, I shook my phone. I'm sorry. I don't know why I do this. But, uh, sweet. We have defeated Gillian again. That was her name, right? Gillian. And then I'll, I'll go ahead and defeat her again on my own in a minute. We're going up to this next tier here. We are going to get to 43 on this one, I'm sure of it. Even if we don't get to 43, I will use the Summoning Stone if I have to. Uh, I believe that I can summon her for, yeah, 11 gems because she's nearby. I am more than happy to do that for the last couple of kills. If I have to get that plus armor, I will. It is so worth it. 
But guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I will update you again after the raid is complete. Hopefully we'll have some really good stuff from the raid. We can get really lucky. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.